Hello everyone, and welcome to my first Let's Play of Destiny of an Emperor. Just to let you know, this is a redo of my intro of the, origi for, of the original uh, playthrough on this. I apparently screwed up the audio so bad you could barely make me out, uh, and after looking at it, I was like, yeah, this can't happen. So what I'm going to do is just go through it again and explain exactly what I did on the first one. Just as you've already know, I've already uh, started. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start a new game. And as I mentioned the first time around, which you probably you might have seen, I might throw it, make a file uh, or something, play us on uh, videos I have screwed up. Just so you can check it if you want. But the audio is terrible. Oh. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through again and show you what I meant. But uh, yeah, like the very intro of the game, like at the beginning of the music, I might put that at the end of the video if you really want to see it. And Barnes. Three brothers. Well, three sworn brothers. Peach Garden Oath. If you're familiar with the uh, Dynasty Wars, this follows the same premise. Let's see, yellow scars are attacking. And as a descendant of the Emperor of the Han Dynasty, it falls on us to stop them. Castle of Tao Quan. That's actually not the name of the castle, that's just the ruler. Uh, um, mainly what I'm going to be doing for this one is I'm going to explain the stats, show up the town in a couple battles. That's what I tried to do in the last one, it came up to 20 minutes because I apparently am terrible at this. But I'm getting better. As if you uh, do continue to watch, which I hope you will, you'll see me going from going, uh, um, and I'm supposed to, um, uh, to just talking like I am now, just doing stuff. Okay, basically what I did here is I went into my menu, I went and started uh, checking out, uh, showing off my generals here. This is Lube, 314 soldiers, 180 strength, 225 intellect, he had 0 AP, 0 AC, and 8 TP. Basically, you know, strength, intelligence, AP is attack power. AC is armor class and TP is tactic points. Tactic points will come more into play once we get magic. As you see on the right, it says tactics, I'll be calling magic and tactics interchangeably. I should have gone over the, uh, the button setup. Beast cancel, A's ring up your menu. Of course, you know, left, right, up, down. I shouldn't have to explain that to you because you are probably very intelligent. But I like being silly. Yeah, you hit select, it brings up this screen, it tells you who's in your active party, how much money, food experience, how much tactic points, and your, what your max is. Max second points. And as a standard rule of all RPGs, talk to everyone. However, before you talk to anyone, make sure you're full up on soldiers. Nah, well. Soldiers and, uh, that's how many troops you have, basically it's your HP, I'll be throwing them out interchangeably. But, of course, talk, check, formation, put them in whatever order. Strategist, that suit, when you have magic, you set them up. One of the things also, you have equipment, make sure you equipped it, because in the original one I recorded for this, I got into one step outside the town, and I got into a boss fight. You can get into random boss fights outside, random generals, but, eh. You'll run into them at other places too. Castles, encampments, gates. But yeah, part of the reason why you also do want to talk to everyone is because this guy here is a merchant. He won't sell you anything, but he will give you stuff. As you see, gold and rations. Rations are important. Hey, horse. Anyways. <laughs> I got off track there very quickly, didn't I? But not rations. They're more or less how you keep your soldiers healthy when you're running around the world map. Hey, bright flag ring. Stop that. Basically, uh, if you have no rations, you're running outside, everyone starts taking damage like they're poisoned, but the only way to get it to stop is if you go in a village, castle or something, and you uh, have what you might call it. You buy more food. You can buy food, or rations in this game, or you get them from uh, beating uh, bosses at like camps, encampments, and gates. Now, we just got Sung Ren and Sung Yong. Sung Ren's not a bad starter character, decent strength. He has 100 intellect, but eh, I'm really just going to use attacks with him. He's not all that great. But uh, the max strength and intellect you can have is 255. And as you can see, Guan Yu, 245, 180. He's very strong, and he's very smart. I will generally be using a lot of magic with him on boss fights. 
Saying bang, 250 strength. He's almost maxed out. And he doesn't have as good intellect, but I'm just going to be attacking with him regardless. Our soldier Song Ren and Lu Bei. Song Yang is just terrible. Wonderful troops. 60 strength, 49. He's the worst. One other thing to make note of, if you set your strategist to whoever it is, no matter what order you put him in, like if I make it Lu Bei, you can tell because it puts a star on him. When we get into battle, he'll be at the very bottom of our roster. And we currently have five people, but the lowest uh, amount of uh, troops you can have at one time... No, 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 The most amount you can have in a battle is five, but the most you can carry on hand is seven. So do keep that in mind. And this is the castle. This is Zuzoo. I'm not going to be enunciating all this correctly. It's not my forte, but I will try my best. One of the things, though, is uh, when you get in... As I was saying about the food and everything... It didn't go down. That's because we haven't gotten into a battle yet. Once we do get into a battle, then we will uh, start losing troops as well. Uh, not troops, food as we walk around. But yeah, you know, run around, kill, talk to everyone, kill the bad guys. That's mainly what you're going to be doing. Hmm, recruit stronger warlords. That's what we plan on doing. And you are in my way. <sighs> if he doesn't move soon, I'm just going to edit in me uh, getting around him. Oh! Okay. Wrong. Yeah. Come on. Okay. <sighs> he says get stronger generals and everything, and he gets in my way. But this guy, he has a nice hat. This is Mizi. He's gonna be very good for a while. Although his name is a typo. It is supposed to be Mizu. Z H U. But, do keep in mind, this uh, was uh, originally. Well. Destiny of an Emperor follows Romance of the Three Kingdoms, that kind of thing. And that's in Chinese. And this was made by a Japanese company. Then it was translated into an English company. So, yay. Yeah, but it's still a really good game, and I like it a lot. It got me interested in Chinese history a lot. But, uh, yeah, Mizi, 161 troops, uh, 73 strength, 157 ill. Like, yeah, he's actually pretty good. Well, for here. And the way I like to do it is I will put people in... From uh, most to least. Like this. Uh, the reason I put Song Yang at the bottom is because I'm going to get rid of him in a moment. But uh, the reason why I'm currently not running around with a tactician, because as I have six people, whoever I make the tactician will no longer be in battle. So let's say I make Lu Bei the tactician, even though he'll be at the front of the party at the top, he'll throw, be thrown all the way at the bottom. Then it'll be Mizi, Song Ren, Guan Yun, Zhang Fei, and Song Yang in battle. And I don't want Song Yang in battle. It's terrible. The dagger, I'll go ahead and Mizi. One thing, though, is, uh... I could give the, uh, dagger to Lu Bei and... the flail to Mizi, but... there'll be so much of a difference in attack. I'll go in a second, but this is the end. But if I did do that... Lu Bei would be doing a lot less damage, and Mizi would only be doing a little bit more damage. Eh. Okay, yellow scarf to the north. Let's see, this is the guy you can buy food from or rations. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm not planning on saving this anyways. No. This game to continue in it. I already have a save it elsewhere. Yeah, I spent a hundred uh, money gold. I would save whatever I feel like, and I got more of that. Now this long building here, I would refer to as the eatery, kind of like in Dragon Quest Three. Or Dragon Warrior 3, depending on your preference. I don't care, shut up. <laughs> Either way, it's an awesome series. I might play it later. But basically here, what this guy can do, you can check out the stats of whoever you have in your party. Like, this is just like doing general. That way, if you have like seven uh, people in your party, and you get someone else, you can do that. New lets you add someone, delete, as I just showed you, let you get re uh, take them out of your active party. And fire, which is I'm going to do to Song Yang, is I'm going to set him on fire, because he's terrible. I wish that was an option, but it's not. <laughs> Basically, what it's doing is, he's no longer going to be on our side, so on the world map when we're running around, he will fight us. And part of the reason I did that is because you get extra experience for fighting battles with generals in them. Then, yeah. you say, talk to this person, record, it tells you how much you need for the next battle. I'm going to say no. Because I don't want to have to delete the uh, file anyway. So invite. That's for later. We'll get into that later. 
let's see. Yeah, and that's more or less what I did. Put the higher ranking guys, uh, higher guys at top, lower in the bottom. Okay, this guy, this is the weapon armor shop. He'll sell you weapons. I'm not gonna buy any for a while, because I'll find some stuff and I'll just pass it down. Besides, my guys aren't, except for Lube, Guan, Yu, Zhang, Fei, I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of physical damage with the, anyone else. Bandanas are head pieces, robes are chest pieces. You can have head piece and a chest piece. Leather is a strong version of the robe, but I'm not worried about it. I will buy it later. If you're new to this, you might want to look into it. But I've played this enough for it's not really that big of a deal. Yep, that's what I was saying. I was talking about the food earlier. If you didn't have a provision to check guy, you run around and get hurt. This is the merchant item shop. It's the only place where you can sell. And you can buy stuff. Flicks egg gives you like restores like a hundred health. Erzax, if you die, brings you back with at least four hundred with a four it blah, blah. It's like a Phoenix down, Final Fantasy. Resurrects you at 400 health, if you have 400 health. If you have under 400 health, you're at max. If you're over 400 health, it brings you back at 400. Steeds can be good, but I don't recommend them right now. Because, uh... They can, uh... Increase your agility, which is a hidden stat, but I'm not really worried about that. I usually have a couple of these on hand, so I can, uh... Later on, you can actually get the enemy, uh... Generals to join you, but it has to be after a fixed battle with them, or a point trigger. Some of them are, if you run into them at like, like a gate, then you run into them in the very next battle, they can join us. Some will say, I want money. Some will say, I want a really nice horse. It's, that's the steed. Thing, though, is uh, I wouldn't do it now because if they ask for money right now, the most it's going to be is like 80. So it's not worth it. But later on, they'll ask, start asking like for 800. In the next era, there is one guy I do recommend you get. He'll be like, I want 800. But we can worry about that later when you have more money. Bullwing, this lets you teleport between major castles. Yeah, it's not a whole lot to that. Yep, yeah. and you have to equip them. And in the first battle, I actually was one step from walking outside. I was like, yeah, I should equip them real quick. There's nothing in here. But I did that, and I didn't really get a whole lot. And it, that may, it would have made the battle really tough because they had to general it. Makes then they hit pretty hard. Okay, and that's all there is for this one. Uh, I'm not going to redo episode two for now because basically I just would explore the rest of the town and uh, go check out the castle. But this is going to be the end of episode one. So thank you for joining me and thank you for putting up with me in my terrible first intro. Hopefully I got this fixed and this will actually run pretty well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in the intro uh, of the game so you can listen to the music and go everything. It because it will also give you a little bit of the story about the how this follows historical events and it'll show you some of the uh, artwork and pictures of people that you'll be dealing with later on. So thank you for joining me. So I will see you all in the next time. Y'all have a good day.